there is a large disparity between uh, minority patients, black, Hispanic, uh, and other minorities, and uh, white patients in the utilization of joint replacement. So we are trying to understand factors that go into this disparity. So uh, the beauty of this paper is when we look at outcomes, uh, are they different? Are there underlying differences in the outcomes that patients uh, by race experience in joint replacement, which we know to be a very satisfying and uh, pain relieving operation? The way we conducted this study was to use three very large statewide administrative databases from California, Florida, and New York. Uh, and we use these states because they're very large, they have very mixed populations, uh, and we had data from 2004 to 2014 from all three states. And we were able to look at all patients undergoing a knee replacement in those three states during that period and then follow them within the database uh, to look and see what happened over time and whether they had a revision. We thought perhaps socioeconomic factors would play a big role in the reason that some black patients are at excess risk for revisions and that perhaps when we controlled for those factors, the racial disparity would disappear. But in fact, we did not find that. We did find that hospitals that did a very low volume of knee replacements had higher rates of later revisions. But what we found was that the pattern was different if you looked at black patients and white patients separately. That if you looked at white patients, you saw the pattern you might expect that at very low knee replacement volume hospitals, the rates of revision were highest, and at very high volume hospitals, the rates of knee replacement revision were lowest. When you looked at black patients, the rates of revision were actually highest at the highest volume hospital, and this came as a complete surprise to us. We know that uh, African-American patients tend to bypass uh, larger high volume hospitals and have surgery at low volume hospitals. So. The question becomes, if you go to a high volume hospital and have higher rates of revision, why is it? And one of the reasons that we postulated, perhaps these are more complicated patients, because we know that African American patients uh, present later with more advanced disease, and because they have more complicated disease, more complicated uh, surgery is necessary and therefore maybe the outcomes aren't as good as maybe the more straightforward operations that are done. Maybe they're also sicker patients. Uh, that have uh, comorbidities, meaning uh, obesity, diabetes, and other things uh, that can co uh, contribute to poor outcomes. And they're the patients that get uh, tertiary care at these uh, hospitals that are higher volume, but these may compromise their outcomes as well.